Tottenham Hotspur 4, Southampton 1. Tottenham came from a goal down to get their Premier League campaign off to a flying start with a comfortable home victory over Southampton. Spurs fell behind in the 12th minute to James Ward Proges volley. The midfielder driving the ball into the ground and watching the bounce beat Hugo Loris. But the response from Antonio Conte's side was swift and luckless. Ryan Sesegnon headed in his first Premier League goal for the club from an inviting Dejan Klusevski cross to draw the host level and by the half hour mark they were in front. Eric Deer had not scored in three years but met a whipped Sonungmin delivery with a low flicked header into the far corner. Tottenham carried that confidence into the second half and Mohamed Salus turned Emerson Royals cross into his own net before the impressive Kulusevski grabbed a well-taken force to cap a stylish and dominant display. We won three important points, but the most important thing was the way we got three points with really good football, with the ball, without the ball, with important pressure, said Conte. The way we decided to win the ball after we lost it was another important aspect. We are working to implement football knowledge over the last season. We have seen this team has seven months of work on its back. Contest dreamers hit their stride. April preseason under Conte, six new signings and permission to be dreamers from their Italian boss means sports fans, fans will be expecting big things from their side. Why not winning the Champions League and the Premier League? Conte joked beforehand, though it took what World, world, world pro Project Striker following smart play from Musa Tenepo to spark his side into life on the opening day. With Richardson suspended and other new recruits still building up to full fitness, there was a familiar look to the Spurs 11. Albeit with two unfamiliar names on the score sheet. Sesegnon and Deer have been two of the biggest beneficiary beneficiaries of the Conte era, and both took their headers well to put Spurs in front. The more predictable sources of Son and Kulusevski producing moments of quality to tee up both defenders. He was always in our offensive position, and it was good, Conte said of Sesegnon, adding that the 22-year-old can learn from experienced experience new arrival Ivan Perisic. I'm happy for him, because he has great potential but has to show this potential. This was the first time Tottenham have played a home Premier League game at 3pm on Saturday 
in 973 days since beating Burnley 5 nil in December 2019 and the first time they have begun a season in this kick-off slot for more than 20 years. Rarely in those two decades has there been as much optimism in North London and that is unlikely to have been dampened, dampened by what for the most part was a confident and entertaining performance. Zesegnon also had an effort ruled out for offside immediately after the break and the opposite wingback Royals low ball forced Salisu into an own goal before the Brazilian teed up Krusevski to find the bottom corner two minutes later. The focus at Southampton has been on use this summer. After signing six players with just two with just two over the age of twenty, but it was Saints Mr. Reliable and last season's top scorer were the Prose Prose who got the visitors off to a superb start that hope was short-lived for Ralph Hazard Hotel's side who, as well as having the worst opening day record of all current Premier League teams, finished last season with four successive defeats and did little to rid themselves of that hangover at the Tottenham Hotspur, Hotspur Stadium. It felt a little bit like the opponent switched into the next gear and we cannot follow, said the Saints boss. This was frustrating to see how big the gap is between the two teams. After the first goal, we had the feeling they were absolutely in the game and they smashed us with their crosses and we couldn't defend.